Nyeong Songchia. Happy Thanksgiving. I just called my mom and talked to my sister and my brothers. And then white noise. They're doing well. Other than Thanksgiving, happy Hmong New Year. <laughs> I'm gonna clean my room today. I've been holding it back because I've been writing a lot of prose and poetry, which takes up my cleaning and exercise time. So I need to do that this morning on Thanksgiving. I, th I think what I'm gonna have for Thanksgiving meal is I mean, just uh, turkey leftover wishbone. <laughs> but I'm super stoked that my friend Matt will be hosting me in Dallas. So I'll be driving up there to join them for the Dallas Hmong New Year in Texas. That's one thing I'm very, very thankful for this year since I can't be back home with my family. Yesterday at work, during a team meeting, we just stood around and said what we were thankful for. And after all of that, my very, very sweet team members did a double clap and said Happy Hmong New Year to me. And that was very meaningful. What I have here is my Texas Hmong New Year outfit. As you can tell, I don't have my traditional Hmong clothes with me in Texas. They're all the way up in Minnesota. I chose this one because it has these embroidery, these flowers that reminds me that reminds me of the collars on white collar shirt that I would wear under my Hmong clothes, and this necklace that looks Hmong inspired, and this bright green skirt. It varies for every tribe. Growing up, I've seen a lot of bright pink and green, blue in our clothing. So that's why I decided to go with the bright green. I'm letting the chickens out this morning. Well, here they live in my housemate's backyard. I let them out every morning and then before dark or as dark comes, they all come back in here. And otherwise, um, possums or raccoons can get to the. Okay, there we go. So, this one up here, under my house, may have been a really bad boy. Okay, so I'm driving up to Dallas right now to meet Matt. I haven't seen him in a couple of years. I'm really excited for the Hmong New Year. They actually canceled the first day today. Uh, they have a two-part celebration, so this morning they're supposed to do, uh, I guess, performances, food, shows, vendors outside at a park, but it's rainy in Dallas right now. It's not that rainy in Austin, but there's uh, flash flood warnings in Dallas. Uh, but however, their banquet for tomorrow night, Saturday, is still going on, so heading up there. Let me show you my outfit of the day. I have a scarf around me. Uh, it's about 30 degrees colder in Dallas right now. So I'm just bringing this in case. There is this necklace that I think really looks Hmong inspired. Um, elephant top, tank, black skinnies, my wedges with straps, and this grandma sweater because grandma sweaters are so awesome. My car needs maintenance. Uh, <laughs> I'm driving three hours so. So I think that's about two, let's say a total of almost 400 miles back and forth. Uh, it's a round trip, so I just need to get a check. It may look cold outside, but it's actually really muggy. I guess the tree decided to poop leaves overnight. Getting supper. We drove around for quite a long time. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> we drove around in circles. <laughs> yep. We left Matt at a coffee shop. We left Matt at Starbucks. <laughs> he will never find his way home. <laughs> we don't know where he is now. Starving. Hopefully he's still there. Starving on the street. Does he want anything? I don't know, because he said oh, okay. we'll meet him up in like two hours. Our foe came out really fast. Yes. For real. For real. So many puns with this. For real. For real. <laughs> Oh, I can't think of anything from the top of my head. I have I have a bunch of hashtag stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. <laughs> They're so nice that they gave us extra bra and free hot tea. <laughs> We're gonna eat here. We're gonna eat here more often. 
Uh, did you get it on the things this year? Dang, she, she be spying on us, huh? Well, Austin brought to <laughs> steal our ideas and make their own New Year's, huh? Mong Austin. Mong Austin wants to steal our ideas and make their own New Year's. There's only going to be five people who show up. <laughs> we only need one of this. This is Matt. Hi. Someone who I was talking about. I've known her for over seven years now. First time in, first time among the years in Dallas. Texas. Texas, yes. in general. So, Matt is the mastermind behind this. What's this place called? No. <laughs> I don't know. You just know the spot. This is the hot spot. If you want to eat tacos in Dallas. Okay, here it is. So we're building a thousand lanterns. We got here early, but people came here like 30 minutes late. So we're rushing to get everything together. This is the gang. What's up? He's from Wisconsin. Uh, and we just run some. Yeah, we just ran some errands. I got balloons, candles, and a lighter, and we're heading back to the banquet. We're here at the banquet. It's kind of ghetto out here. It's sketchy. Yeah, people can find it, so we're using my car. Um, as you can see here, here it says Mona Years. Mona Year pointing that way. So hopefully people are able to find it using my car. Just parked my car. Signs up, balloons are up. Hopefully, people can find the venue now. Oh my god!
Oh, this is my G Lido. I'm in here for the first time. Lido! Drop. And then. I still don't know what I want. I'm gonna get the breakfast sampler so I can I'm get it to get my that friend. Or the chicken fried steak next. Chicken fried steak looks good. Um, num, num, num. For the last night in Dallas, we got the taco plate, two spicy beans, got the barbacoa on corn. Quick Mexicans, and here's Matt returning from washing his hands because we touch dogs all day. We're all tired and hungry. Dancing last night. Day one, gotta go back to sleep. <laughs> Yo I, I end up, I end up, I end up <laughs> vlogging people instead of myself. This is proof that I'm authentic. Just got back from Dallas. It took me four hours to get back to Austin. The drive was very long because first it was raining. Second, there were five accidents along the way. I'm alive. I made it. Call my mom. She said she hoped that my <laughs> all she said was, I pray for you and hope that your limbs and bones and body are still intact. When I first got to Dallas, my GPS, so I was six minutes away from arriving at the apartment that Matt had rented and my GPS died. It took me 20 to 25 minutes, maybe actually longer than that, um, to actually find a place and my Google map wasn't working for some odd reason. Uh, I actually went over to McDonald's to use their Wi-Fi that wasn't working. So instead I pulled out Google Chrome, um, used that app to search and type in and found an address the hard way. Helped out with the Hmong New Year event uh, weekend. Really wanted to do that. Really like helping people out. What annoys me about Texans is that the majority of them don't say no. And that gives me road rage while I'm driving. So signal please.